Hello, my name is Deanna Craig. I am a full-time visual artist and art instructor from Indianapolis, Indiana. And my medium of choice for this series, and actually most of my work is acrylic. I absolutely love working with acrylic paint. Um, it's fun, it's vibrant, it's extremely flexible. And depending on the painting technique used, Acrylic paintings may look similar to either oil or watercolor, just for example, and I work in watercolor as well. Um, but I'm also an art instructor with a large youth base. And so teaching art to individuals who've never picked up a paintbrush lends itself to using acrylics for um, ease and flexibility. So it's just an awesome medium all around. Um, for 15 years, I journeyed through corporate America, um, graduated from DePaul University with a degree in communication and a degree in sociology. And I mean, I was making great money, uh, but inside I was shriveling away. And it wasn't until 2010, uh, mom and I went to a wine and canvas type of event. And that was the first time I had even picked up a paintbrush. And ironically, after class, the instructor asked if I'd ever studied art before, and I said no, and he said that I should probably tap into that and kind of see where it goes. And so the next day, I went to Michael's, um, purchased some art supplies, I came home and painted, and I remember I posted my first work on Facebook, and about 10 people wanted to purchase that piece, and it completely blew my mind. And so after that, I just took classes and began exploring the creative side that I knew that I had all along, but did not know how it would manifest or how I would get to where I am now. In January of 2020, I kind of looked over my plans for the year. Um, I had, you know, gigs and live painting experiences, workshops, teaching, public speaking. I mean, that calendar was... <laughs> Let's just say I worked, I worked hard on filling that calendar. And then one by one, I mean, everything went away. And I am a full-time visual artist, which means that the calendar paid my mortgage. But, but God, you know, I mean, I panicked. I, I'm sure most of us did, but I'm a painter. And I know that I know that I know I am doing what I'm supposed to do. And so I just had to get creative in transitioning my business from being completely and to being completely virtual um, and trying new things and just doing things I've never done before. And it was absolutely a year of tests and stepping even further out of my comfort zone. Um, what I thought that I was going to be doing, I totally wasn't anymore. And just, you know, just trying to be flexible. And I thought it was going to be the most trying year of my business. And it ended up business-wise being one of the best. In the year that we are calling 2020, my work um, absolutely reflected um, the, all of the things that we were speaking about and listening to in the news. And not only did I have to process what that meant for me, I teach kids. And so I transitioned a lot of my art instruction around social justice to kind of have those extremely important conversations. And it was a very, very necessary experience. And then in addition to that, I was also afforded the opportunity to contribute to the Black Lives Matter mural that was installed on Indiana Avenue. Um, I painted the V in the word lives, which sits directly in the middle of the mural. And this artwork allowed the names of our fallen community members at the hands of INPD to continue to be a part of the social justice conversation. And so at a time that we're speaking about George Floyd and Breonna Taylor, which are extremely important, names like Joshua Beale and Brandon Foy and Aaron Bailey, Michael Taylor, those needed to be as much as of the conversation as well, because you know we live here, this is our community. And just being able to contribute to that experience is really something that I'll never forget. 2021 is my first year participating in Meet the Artists, and I am extremely grateful for the opportunity to share my work, um, and not only that, to learn from others, and then just contribute to the creative community here in Indianapolis. I am submitting four pieces um, to um, this exhibit, and it's going to follow the journey of a generation uh, of women, four generations of women who are kind of passing along all of their knowledge to the next generation. It calls um, 
from a lot of the current events that have been happening, as well as um, a dream journal that I keep as well. I paint from a journal, I have very vivid dreams, and it allows me to kind of sketch or write down words or images that I see in my sleep. And then I expound on that when I am sitting in front of the canvas. And so the pieces that you will see will be very personal and they will tell a story. Um, and I'm hoping that it'll get to the why of where we are now.